most people think men just cheat for sex. No. In fact, only 12% of men cheat for sex. So that means if you get 100 male cheaters, only 12 of them do cheat just because of sex. So you see, there are a lot of factors involved. Why do men cheat? Yes, I know women also cheat, but let's concentrate on men for this video. And I also know that not all men cheat, but why is it that a good number of men, irrespective of their background, their nationality, their tribe, their religion, their spirituality, economic financial situation, or the situation around their family, why is it that a good number of men, the vast majority, find it extremely difficult and even sometimes almost impossible to stick with one partner to stick to one partner for life why is it so what is the issue what is the matter is there something in the male bodies what does science have to say about this what does biology have to say about this is there a gene are there hormones are there some chemicals responsible for all of this <sighs> in this video we will be looking at the neuroscience and the neurobiology of male infidelity some of the hormones and the chemicals in the body that give the predisposition note that word predisposition to infidelity and if you watch to the end of this video i will be giving some practical solutions that has helped men you know men like us you know to improve our fidelity and faithfulness to do well to stick with me to the end of this video first i will start with some disclaimers because this is a very sensitive issue and there is a high tendency for you watching me right now to misunderstand me and even become biased and even angry but just listen to me carefully and follow very carefully first all i will be saying today does not in any way reflect my personal experience or my personal convictions i'm just giving medical knowledge scientific knowledge and i'm not in this video in any way trying to justify cheating no cheating is wrong neither am i trying to explain it away or to excuse male infidelity in any way no i am not and i'm not in any way trying to downplay choice and character because eventually it all depends on choice no one is forced to cheat and i am not in any way delving into the religious sphere where we talk about sin and the human nature and the fallen nature no plainly scientific here and giving you what science says so do we have a deal not to misunderstand one another also male infidelity and cheating in men is an interplay of many factors it is multifactorial it's like a complex interplay of several factors most people think men just cheat for sex no in fact only 12 percent of men cheat for sex so that means if you get 100 male cheaters only 12 of them do cheat just because of sex. So you see, there are a lot of factors involved, but we just classify those factors into three. Bio, psycho, social, right? So biological factors, psychological factors, and social factors. And in this video, we will be concentrating only on the biological factors. So we will be ignoring psychological factors like the mindset, the personality type. You know, there are some persons that like achieving like that are adventurous that are bold they are risk takers we will ignore those factors we will ignore factors like character some persons have character flaws some persons have self-esteem issues and confidence issues we will ignore all of those facts for in this video and we are also ignoring some social factors like the culture like the increase in pornography use the ease in cheating these days and the influence the very strong influence of friends and enablers in fact 77 percent of male children have close friends that are also cheaters so the friendship factor and the cultural and social factor is very very strong but we, we are not going to talk about that in this video we are also ignoring the partner issue things like having a nagging wife or a sex starved man or a man that has is in an environment where it is very very easy to cheat so you have all the opportunities and availability of options so we're ignoring all those factors and we are concentrating just on the biological so the body the hormones the chemicals the juices and the fluids influencing male fidelity so there are certain peculiarities when it comes to male infidelity there is this natural tendency for seeking for variety seeking for adventure seeking for validation to win to gain to conquer for self-gratification like this hunter mentality that has some evolutionary precedence so you see that a man can have three level of relationships with three different women at the same time he can have sex with one woman sleeping by his side 
who he is married to and he has this deep attachment with at, at the same time he could walk away and have sex with another woman who is not married to but he only has some shallow romantic relationship with and he can still walk out and have sex with a complete stranger who he has no romantic or love relationship with and just based on wild passion. So a man has the ability to achieve all of this as at the same time, which makes it even more complex. So what does science say? What does biology say? Now the case for biology and for some of these hormones is very strong because that is a constant factor in all men, irrespective of their location or the circumstances. The biological makeup is similar. It is one factor that is constant among everybody. And also we notice that if certain chemicals in the body fade, say with old age, infidelity also reduces. And so it gives it a stronger factor that biology has a strong role to play when it comes to infidelity. And by the way, if you are finding this video very helpful, do me a favor by clicking the like button now. Yes. Click the like button now, right? Yes. <laughs> and I will appreciate, deeply appreciate. But at this point, it is very important for me to state that these are only predispositions. Increased susceptibility, increased tendency and propensity, increasing the chances. It still boils down to one level of making choices. So it's just that it makes it difficult to choose otherwise. But still, there is the factor of choice and character before one actually cheats. And so the difference between a cheater and a non-cheater is action, is choice, is whether they choose to act on what they feel or not. And there are a handful of hormones and chemicals that have strong relationship increasing the tendency of men to cheat and which we have seen that has strong roles to play in cheaters, in male cheaters as opposed to male non-cheaters. And some of them include things like dopamine, testosterone, serotonin, noradrenaline, vesopressin, and oxytocin. I won't be going through all of these in any form or in any details, but I will be mentioning some of the things so we keep this whole video non-technical and in simple ways you can understand and then um, apply. But the first one we'll mention here is vesopressin. And this hormone is important for social bonding, for trust, for empathy. And so we have seen that men with low vesopressin are relatively more likely to cheat. In fact, in animals, injecting vesopressin has moved animals that have tendency to be polygamous to becoming strictly monogamous. And as we earlier said, it's because of the action of this hormone to help one with social bonding to stick and stay one place, you know, for a long period of time, as opposed to just jumping around and seeking for adventure. So it is calm, cool, and seek to create social bond, long lasting bond. And this is relatively higher in women and higher in men who are non-cheaters and relatively low in men who are cheaters. The second very important hormone here is dopamine and it is known as the pleasure reward chemical or the happy hormone. And so dopamine usually gives this rush like, like, like cocaine and people can get addicted to that rush. In fact, 50% of people with high dopamine cheat. And the action here is that it gives this addictive behavior. And so when they step from one partner to another one and they get that rush. They get addicted to that rush that comes with changing of partners. And so you can see a man cheating with another partner or woman that is less attractive, less beautiful, less good in bed. It is not just because of the sex, it's because of the rush, the dopamine rush that comes with changing and the addictive tendency that that dopamine rush gives the man. So it's like a high that he gets with the rush that comes with the change. I hope you understand. Men who typically cheat are noticed to have relatively high dopamine and tendency to be addicted to this dopamine rush. So there's the desire to seek excitement, there's the desire to experiment, to seek variety, to do window shopping so strong that it overrides the mind and the will. And that's why you see someone that is deeply religious, deeply spiritual, has great character when it comes to every aspect of life, but there's this weakness, this aspect, and that's because of the power, the strong, almost irresistible power of some of these chemicals, especially dopamine. And the next one, testosterone. 
very, very powerful. Testosterone is a major culprit. It plays a major role in male infidelity. And women also have testosterone, but men have up to seven times more testosterone. And it's always high like that. For women, it could come up and down and it's still on the low level up and down but for men it is high there seven times and if sometimes even more than in women and yet it remains on the high level that way almost constantly and so there's this constant bombardment for adventure sexual desire and the problem with testosterone is that it typically minimizes and diminishes consequences it diminishes negative consequences diminishes punishment and elevates reward so the emotions now override mind and will and the person no longer sees the consequences of his actions and the negative aspect of his actions because the sister has the ability to diminish and minimize punishment and consequences and it is clear men who cheat and have high tendency of cheating usually are found to have relatively high testosterone levels there are other hormones and chemicals that play a role in these like no epinephrine and epinephrine that will cause the heart to beat faster the person to breathe faster and all those butterfly feelings in the stomach you know the feelings could be very sweet strong feelings of excitement and adventure and things like serotonin which is related to obsession obsession and obsessive thinking where you cannot stop thinking about the next lady or the next body part that obsessive thinking associated with serotonin and things like oxytocin that are low relatively low in men and oxytocin is like the cuddle hormone and so because of that the tendency to cheat is even more and so granted there are no cheating gene per se or any deep direct source or cause However, we know that some of these male hormones and this relative difference in the amount of some of these hormones and chemicals play a strong and major role when it comes to male infidelity. And we know this because when there is any medical condition that affects these hormones, there will be concurrent change in fidelity. Or when the person gets old and some of these hormones, you know, either increase or decrease we also see concurrent change in fidelity and faithfulness so i will give some personal recommendations here there's a saying that goes we follow our bodies to dark places the truth is if you follow your body you will end up in dark places nature has its way of doing things and but sometimes nature can be wrong nature can be inconsiderate and nature can push us to dark places and so sometimes we have to override nature's predisposition to choose what will eventually be helpful to us to our partners to our families and our community communication with your partner is very key let your partner know how you feel and your partner understanding the makeup of men will help drastically innovate bring variety into your sex life bring variety into your romantic relationship into your marriage bring freshness avoid predictability bring surprise so this will inject some life some adventure and will help to satisfy those urges of those chemicals f that push men to seek some of this variety adventure fun and all this risk-taking behavior and stuff like that and for men look beyond the body if you can learn to look at your partner and follow awareness space consciousness spirit somehow it will help you to override some of these tendencies of the body. Apart from that, mindfulness and being really, really mindful and present moment awareness is so powerful in letting you to really understand what you feel and getting the actual interpretation so that you'll be free and you have the space to make accurate and helpful decisions. If you find this video very helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and stay subscribed to this channel and check the description section below for a free download titled Fire Your Doctor. This will help you to enjoy total health, ideal weight and better sex and you can find it by clicking the link in the description section below. Take charge of your health and happiness and I will see you in the next one.